I believe you remember that in my last lecture we talked about pH and buffer solutions. You must be remembering that pH 7 acts as a neutral pH and pH below 7 is an indication of acidic solution and pH larger than 7 is an indication of alkaline solutions. The buffer solutions are capable of keeping the same pH on addition of small amounts of acids and alkalis. Now in this lecture we will talk about types of electrodes and concentration cells. You remember that we have different types of electrodes. The reference electrode which we have already discussed is a standard hydrogen electrode. Now in this lecture we will talk about various types of electrodes, liquid junction potential and the most important types of electrodes are metal, metal ion electrode and gas ion electrodes. Second, metal insoluble salt anion electrodes. Third, inert oxidation reduction electrodes and membrane electrodes. The example of first type of electrode that is gas ion electrode is hydrogen electrode which we have already discussed in detail. Let us now come to metal metal ion electrode. The metal metal ion electrode consists of a metal in contact with its ion in solution. An example is a piece of silver metal immersed in a solution of silver nitrate. That is silver metal is immersed in its own solution of silver ion and we are taking silver nitrate. Such an electrode serves as a cathode and can be written as silver aqueous silver solid because the silver solid is dipped in silver ion and the cathode half reaction can be written as Ag plus in aqueous medium is taking an electron to give Ag solid. When this electrode serves as an anode it is represented as Ag solid separated by a vertical line Ag plus aqueous and for this half reaction is different now Ag solid is giving Ag plus aqueous and an electron comes out that means oxidation of silver takes place to give you silver ions. In general the first type of reference electrode can be represented as Mn plus and M. Mn plus represents metal having a positive charge of N. N can vary anywhere from 1, 2, 3 and so on. The half reduction reaction for such electrodes is Mn plus is taking N electron that is reduction is taking place giving you solid metal. Following convention the half reaction that occurs on the electrode is written as a reduction reaction. Nurst equation for these type of electrodes can be written as E is equal to E0 standard electrode potential plus 0 0.059 by N log Mn plus which is an aqueous medium and we can write again E is equal to E0 plus 0 0.059 by N 
we can write it in the terms of activity as log a m n plus where n represents the charge which is present on metal ion. Again in terms of metal we can write it E is equal to E0 minus 0 0.059 by N log M solid divided by M N plus aqueous. Again for sake of simplicity we can write it as E is equal to E0 minus 0 0.059 by N log A M solid divided by A M N plus that is we are talking in terms of activity of solid metal and metal ion. A metal is in contact with one of its insoluble salts and also with a solution containing the anion of the salt. So, the equation now is E is equal to E0 minus 0 0.059 by N and we can write it as log activity of A N plus. An example is silver silver chloride electrode which is very well known electrode and used as a reference electrode. We can write it as a cathode where chloride ion in aqueous medium separated by a vertical line AgCl solid separated by a vertical line Ag solid for which the cathode half reaction can be written as AgCl solid is taking an electron to give Ag solid plus chloride ion aqueous. Again we can write it as E AgCl Cl minus is equal to E0 Ag plus AgCl minus 0 0.059 log A Cl minus and the value would come as E0 Ag plus AgCl is equal to 0 0.2224. Ag AgCl electrode is widely used as a reference electrode and it is sufficiently stable. Calomel electrode consists of the mercury and calomel which is mercurous chloride paste that is dipped in potassium chloride solution. It is often used as a reference electrode to determine the standard electrode potential. Usually calomel electrode is used more often than hydrogen electrode because for hydrogen electrode it is difficult to maintain one atmospheric pressure. It is represented as chloride separated by a vertical line Hg2Cl2 and mercury. The half reaction for calomel electrode is Hg2Cl2 is taking two electron to give two mercury and two chloride ion. The E cell is equal to E0 minus 0 0.059 log activity of chloride ion. The E0 of calomel electrodes that contains 0.1 or 1 molar or saturated solution of potassium chloride at 298 K are 0 0.337, 0 0.2801 and 0 0.2412 volts. That means the concentration of potassium chloride which is used in this electrode also affects the standard electrode potential and therefore it is necessary to always mention what concentration of potassium chloride is used in calomel electrode. This is a diagram of a typical calomel electrode 
which is commercially available and it contains saturated potassium chloride solution. Here you can see at the bottom we have a sintered disc and in the second glass tube there is a small hole at the bottom which is filled with saturated KCL from all sides and it possesses paste of mercury, mercurous chloride and saturated KCL solution. Now in the side you can see there is a cork here which is used to fill saturated KCL solution when the electrode becomes dry. There is a connecting wire which is attached to it and through which we make connections. Now this is a design of a commercially available calomel electrode whereas we can easily prepare this type of electrode in the lab. You can see here we have a glass bottle at the bottom of which we add some mercury, solid mercurous chloride and a platinum wire is attached through it and we fill this bottle with KCL solution which is usually saturated and at the bottom of it we add some solid KCL so that if there is a loss of potassium chloride the solution always remains saturated. With the help of a platinum wire we can make connection and to attach it to the second solution we use a salt bridge which is filled with agar agar mixed with KCL solution. So this is a simple setup which can be used for calomel electrode in the laboratories. The half reaction as I told you is Hg2Cl2 solid is taking two electrons to give two mercury and two chloride ions. Let us now come to an inert oxidation reduction electrode. It consists of a strip, wire or rod of an inert material such as platinum, gold, iridium and so on in contact with a solution which contains ions of a substance in two different oxidation states that is oxidation and reduction form. The difference between general metal electrode and oxidation reduction electrode is that oxidation reduction electrode does not take part in oxidation reduction reaction which exists in solution but acts as an electron conductor. For example, let us consider platinum and tin 2 plus stannous ions or SN4 stannic ions or we can consider platinum dipped in Fe2 plus ferrous ions and Fe3 plus ferric ions. Oxidation and reduction reaction you can see here oxidized species takes n electron to give you reduced species. Here you can see the standard electrode reaction is E is equal to E0 minus 0 0.059 by n log A reduced divided by log A oxidized. That is activity of reduced species divided by activity of oxidized species. There are two types of oxidation reduction electrodes commonly used. The simple one like ferrous ion, ferric ion with platinum. The simple reaction is that ferric ions taking an electron to give you ferrous ions. Corresponding reaction is E is equal to E0 minus 0 0.059 by N log activity of ferrous ion divided by activity of ferric ion. This is a diagram showing such an electrode 
here you can see we are dipping a rod of platinum in a solution where we take ferric ions in the solution. As I told you ferric ions are taking electrons to give you ferrous ions and we can write reaction as E ferric ions ferrous ions is equal to E0 for ferric ions ferrous ions plus 0.059 log activity of ferric ions divided by ferrous ions. Second type of electrode are known as complex oxidation reduction electrode. In these the charge and the composition of the ion changes. For example, manganese ion we are taking MnO4 minus protons separated by a vertical line giving platinum MnO4 minus plus 8 H plus plus 5 electron. This is giving manganese 2 plus and 4 H2O. The example is quinhydrone electrode. Quinhydrone is an organic compound. It is a crystalline product which consists of quinone that is benzoquinone normally written as C6H4O2 and hydroquinone which is the reduced form C6H4OH twice. It is less soluble in water and decomposes into quinone and hydroquinone in the solution. In the saturated solution equimolar mixture of quinone and hydroquinone is formed. This electrode is prepared by dipping the platinum strip or wire sealed in a glass tube in a solution having unknown pH. Some quinhydrones crystal are added in the solution. Here you can see a representation a platinum wire sealed in a glass tube is dipped in a solution which contains few crystals of quinhydrone. Now you can see we have quinhydrone which is a mixture of quinone and hydroquinone and we have electrode of platinum in H plus. The reaction now takes place C6H4O2 taking two protons, two electrons to give you C6H4OH twice which is hydroquinone. We can write the potential of the cell E cell is equal to E0 minus 0.059 by 2 log A C6H4OH twice divided by activity of C6H4O2 multiplied by A square H plus. Assuming that the activity of quinone and hydroquinone is equal in the saturated solution, we have an equation E cell is equal to E0 plus 0 0.059 log activity of hydrogen ion. Let us consider now a glass electrode which is used for pH measurements. This on the left hand side is silver silver chloride reference electrode and on the right hand side we have a pH glass combination electrode. At the bottom of it there is a thin membrane. The cell consists of a glass indicator electrode and a saturated calomel reference electrode both immersed in the solution whose pH is to be determined. The indicator electrode consists of a thin pH sensitive glass electrode and one end of which a heavy walled glass or plastic tube is attached. A small volume of dilute hydrochloric acid saturated with silver chloride is contained in the tube. In some electrodes this solution is a buffer containing chloride ions. A silver wire in this solution forms 
a silver silver chloride reference electrode which is connected to one of the terminals of a potential measuring device the calomel electrode is connected to the other terminal so let us now see here we have a ph glass combination electrode this is at the bottom is a thin membrane and we can see here this is a platinum wire and it is attached to a reference electrode which possess silver chloride solution although the internal reference electrode is part of the glass electrode it is not the ph sensing element instead it is the thin glass membrane at the bottom of this tube which acts and responds to ph let us now come to concentration cells these are another category of cells in which the electromotive force arises not due to any chemical reaction but due to the transfer of matter from one half cell to other because of a difference in the concentrations of the species involved the concentration cells can be divided in two groups and these are electrode concentration cells second electrolyte concentration cells let us now come to electrode concentration cells two like electrodes at different concentrations are dipping in the same solution that means we are dipping the metals in two different solutions having different concentrations like in the first case we have platinum and hydrogen having concentration let's say p1 then second h2 p2 and a platinum electrode is dip at anode the reaction would be h2 p1 is giving 2h plus and 2 electrons that is oxidation is taking place whereas at cathode 2h plus is taking 2 electrons to give h2 p2 overall reaction we can write h2 p1 is giving h2 p2 this reaction is evidently independent of the concentration of the electrolyte let's now come to electrolyte concentration cells two electrodes of same metal are dipping in solutions of metal ions of different concentrations hence of different activities let us consider here two beakers which are attached through a glass tube and we have a porous disc at the center of this glass tube the concentration you can see in the first beaker is 0.1 molar silver ion and 0.1 molar nitrate ions that is we are taking 0.1 molar silver nitrate whereas in the second beaker we have 1 molar silver ions and 1 molar nitrate ions that is we are taking 1 molar silver nitrate so the concentration difference you can see on the left hand side it is 0.1 molar and on the right hand side we have 1 molar the electrodes of same metal silver are taken and you can see now that the electrons are flowing from left to right the left beaker is working as anode and the right beaker is working as cathode we can write this electrode as ag silver nitrate at the activity a1 and similarly silver nitrate at the activity a2 and we have silver electrode in both the compartments at anode silver is giving silver ion and an electron whereas at cathode ag plus at activity a2 is taking an electron to give silver 
the overall reaction can be written as ag plus at the activity a2 is giving ag plus at activity a1 let's now come to electrolyte concentration cells they can be further divided into electrolyte concentration cells with transference and electrolyte concentration cells without transference now in the first case where we talk about electrolyte concentration cells with transference we take two solutions which are in direct contact with each other and the transference of ion from one solution to the other takes place directly we can represent it as platinum hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure hcl with activity a1 separated by a vertical line hcl a2 hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure and platinum two solutions are not in direct contact with each other and the transference of ions from one solution to the other does not take place then we call it as electrolyte concentration cells without transference in such case let us consider silver silver nitrate at the activity a1 separated by two vertical lines silver nitrate a2 and silver let us now come to liquid junction potential liquid junction means that the two electrolyte solutions in two half cells are in direct contact with each other or the interface between two miscible electrolyte solutions liquid junction potential is defined as a potential difference between two solutions of different compositions separated by a membrane type separator the salt will diffuse from the higher concentration to the lower concentration side the diffusion rate of the cation and the anion of the salt will vary seldom by exactly the same assume the cations move faster consequently an excess positive charge will accumulate on the low concentration side while an excess negative charge will accumulate on the high concentration side of the junction due to the slow moving anions let us now consider a cell which has a liquid junction the observed cell emf includes the additional potential difference between the two electrolyte solutions here we have hcl and you can see activity a2 and a1 are present similarly on the other hand we have silver nitrate and nitric acid where the activity are same a2 is equal to a1 now the silver ions will move towards the negative side and h plus ions will move towards negative side whereas in this case chloride ions you can see will move towards positive side and h plus ions will also move towards a2 side that is when the cell has a liquid junction the observed cell emf includes the additional potential difference liquid junction potentials are generally small but they certainly cannot be neglect neglected in accurate work by connecting the two electrolyte solutions with a salt bridge the junction potential can be minimized a salt bridge consists of a gel made by adding agar to a concentrated aqueous kcl solution a cell representation containing a salt bridge is for example 
for a copper zinc voltaic cell we can write zinc zinc sulfate aqueous separated by two vertical lines copper sulfate aqueous and copper a salt bridge is symbolized by two vertical dashed lines now to summarize today's lecture we talked today about various types of electrodes and liquid junction potential in my next lecture we will talk about applications of liquid junction potential and potentiometric titration